Welcome everybody to the third installment of Sodium 101. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. When I ask patients if they eat a low sodium diet, I often get this answer. Of course, doc, I never use the salt shaker. But believe it or not, the salt shaker is not actually the source of most of the sodium in our diet. For a lot of people, the salt shaker only accounts for 5% of our sodium intake. That's right, folks, 5%. So where does the bulk of that salt in our diet come from? Imagine going out for one of my favorites, a turkey sandwich. Two slices of bread, check, 250 milligrams of sodium. Mayonnaise, check, 100 milligrams. Slice of cheese, check, 250 milligrams. Two slices of turkey, 600 milligrams. And then if you make it really good and add bacon, 200 milligrams, and a pickle, 300 milligrams, Total sodium with that sandwich, 1,700 milligrams. Total recommended allowance for most of us, 2,300 milligrams per day. You're almost there. Now, if you add a side of fries and ketchup, you're at your daily limit with just one meal. Why is this important? Because going above the 2,300 milligram allowance, if you have heart disease, kidney disease, or high blood pressure, can have many negative effects on your health. That's why eating out a lot can be a health hazard. Restaurants are loaded with high sodium foods because that's what people like, and it's easy to make food tasty by adding a lot of salt. At a restaurant, it's also easy to get stuffed with lots of carbohydrates or excess saturated fats in addition to being bombarded with that salt. Now, eating out is one of my greatest joys, so I would never tell you to stop doing it altogether. Just don't do it every day, and when you do it, choose your foods wisely. 